Wala, the most merciful and righteous. It's today, today our topic is present perfect tense. Present perfect tense has nothing to do with a process, has nothing to do with a particular point of time, has nothing to do with the incompleteness of something. Because whatever has been done, whatever you have done, whatever has been completed, whatever has been uh, uh, perfected, whatever you have done to completion or to perfection, and there is no further need, and the process is, the process is uh, uh, quite uh, to the end. The process has come to a stop, etc. So remember that perfect present perfect tense. Perfect is quite the uh, antonym and quite the opposite. Uh, it gives opposite aspect of continuity, a continuance, or a process that is represented in present continuous tenses. That is why continuous tenses or progressive tenses are also called imperfect tenses and it is perfect. And remember that all perfect tenses, whether they belong to or related to the past, had third form of the verb, present perfect, third form of the verb, and future perfect, all these sentences will have third form of the verb because of the sense of completion and perfection, etc. It is with a singular subject, it has, this is has is auxiliary before third form of the verb and have is also the auxiliary before we, first person pronoun, uh, plural, and that are amjad and azhar have done their respective jobs, or duties, or assignments, etc. So have, it is not stressed, it is, it is us. It is us, because it hasn't the main verb stress in it, and it also, it is how, or how, how, or how, because by contraction, how, how, yeah, I, I, I have done my work by contraction. So we mustn't pronounce it as I have done my work. No, I have done my work. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have done my work. Because I have something in my pocket. That have is a man verb, is a man verb. Because he had his dinner, he had his dinner, he had his uh, house whitewashed, that is a man verb and full value you must give to it in pronunciation. Urdu, in Urdu, when I shift to Urdu, isko aap hao pronounce na kare, ye hao nahi hai, ye hao aar ao, ao aar hao, because of the contraction, contraction, I iske saath. Yani contract karke, usko combine karke, usko conjoin karke, isko milake. Ek labs yo ban jata hai wo I. I have completed my work. I completed my work. Because there is difference. I, I, I have, I have written reports about your past history. I have written reports about your past history. I have written reports about your past history. So I have written always auxiliary. Your present perfect hai ki mein lich chuka hu. I have written your past history. Now I have, I have written history, written antecedents of your past record, of your past record. There are many precedents of your cruelty, aggression, oppression, and injustices done to your neighbors in the past. So, I have written record, auxiliary, how? I have written. Written means, liki hui. Tahrir shuda, in black and white, you mere paas maujood hai, present and definite tense. In definite tense. So, auxiliary is ke saath has a jata hai. Singular ke saath, our 
वाहिद फर्स्ट पर्सन प्रोनाउन आई है जिसके साथ बी आय या आई है लगाया जाता है इसके साथ जिस तरह के आई और डन आई और डन माई वर्क आई डन माई वर्क तो लगाया जाता है और दीगर परफेक्ट टेंसेस की की तरह इन परफेक्ट जब सेंस आ जाता है परफेक्ट सेंस का तो तर फॉर्म अब और ये रिमेंबर ये पॉइंट आप जहन में रखें कि सारे परफेक्ट टेंसेस में तर फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ड इस्तेमाल होता है और सारे पैसे वाइज में भी तर फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ड इस्तेमाल होता है इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कंटिन्यूस इंडेपेंडेंट परफेक्ट अ परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस दैट इज इंपॉसिबल बिकॉज दैट हैज आई एन जी बींग वगैरह वगैरह एटसेट्रा लीव आउट दीज थिंग्स बट एक्जेलरी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय वर्क सो दीज एक्जेलरीज कैन बी शिफ्टेड टू द फ्रंट टू द फ्रंट फॉर मेकिंग इंटरागेटिव इन ट्रागेटिव सम सेंटेंस इज आई विल राइट हियर ऑन द व्हाइट बोर्ड एंड यू विल हैव टू गो अलॉन्ग विद मी इन इजी कॉम्प्रहेंशन इन इजी कॉम्प्रहेंशन एटसेट आई आई की तरह वी के साथ भी वी आउडन बट अग्रीमेंट आनी चाहिए वी ओ डन आर आवर्क ये नहीं है कि ग्रामर में गलत है ग्रामर में मैं ये भी लिख सकता हूं कि वी हैव डन यूअर वर्क वी हैव डन यूअर वर्क इफ दैट वर्क बिलोंग्स टू अ पर्सन अड्रेस टू वी कैन आल्सो राइट हियर यूअर वर्क and we have done his work we have done his work if the work is his not ours etc so grammatically there is nothing wrong with it he has done her work how he uh, she has done his work because homework is sometimes uh, not done at home and uh, they uh, some children Are desist from completing their homework and uh, often linger. So, if a sister completes the homework of his of her brother, so she can say she completed his work. His work means his brother's work, homework, and he completed. If his sister is lazy, lethargic, or inactive, or not willing. Are ill disposed, are not willing to do something uh, to complete his homework. So he completes her homework, etc. That is another point. We have done. They have. They have done. Their work, if the work belongs to them, or if the work is theirs. If the work is ours, so also we can say they have done our work. Our work because the work was ours the responsibility was ours and they did our job or our assignment grammatically nothing is uh, incorrect but we will have to see uh, uh, not only to the uh, referent or to the antecedent uh, when we are using possessive pronoun but also to the sense in world are implied in the sentence so for every auxiliary or when a sentence has many auxiliaries the first auxiliary is used for question have i completed have i done my work have we done our work or have they done their work but remember some contractions must be for negative have not because we have a contraction from it haven't we have a contraction from it haven't because that is the immediate neighbor have not done our work so the space is removed and not is not is conjoined not is combined with have haven't i haven't but remember two contractions are not allowed that i i want i want not 
I O not with space. I I O not. I have not done my work. I space haven't. I haven't done my work. I have not done my work. I haven't done my work. But there is no word for contraction or combination of three words. That is impossible, grammatically incorrect. You will have to change only, uh, convert only two words into one contraction. Haven't. So for auxiliary, it is shifted to the front. And for negative, not is used here. And for contraction, haven't, he hasn't done his work. He hasn't done his work. And there is sense of perfection in the tense. When I ask someone who is busy writing something, what are you doing? Are you writing a letter to your father? No. I have done that. I have written a letter to my father. Now I am writing a story. Now I am writing a story. That work has come. That work or that job or that assignment has come to an end. That has been completed. That has been thoroughly met. There is no need for any reference to that fact. Because I have done that. I have disposed of that work or assignment. There is nothing more to add to that, etc. So auxiliary, it has a sense of perfection. A sense of perfection. And perfection means completeness. Completeness. Our fulfillment. Our entire complete fulfillment. Satisfactory fulfillment when there is no need for further extension, etc. Perfect. Perfect already I have said. Yeah, I have told you, perfect, thorough, entirely, completely, quite, thorough mate. He is a thorough mate. He is a thorough mate. It is also called, pronunciation is correct, thara, thara. He is a thorough mate, thorough mate. So, wo perfect hai. Or its opposite is imperfect. Imperfect is for continuous tenses, etc. So these things we have done and the thing is applicable. The thing is applicable and verbs are perceptions. You can't say when something is uh, to be continued and that is a process. I have been reading, I have been reading this novel since morning. Since morning. I have been waiting for you for two hours, for two hours. But when something is static, you can't say. The book has lain. The book has lain. No, the book has been lying. The book has been lying on the table since morning. Has been lying. He is sitting. So sitting is not a process. He is, and that is a predicate. He is, in what condition he is? He is sitting. Oh, beta hua hai. Under a tree. He is sitting in an armchair, in a rocking chair, etc. Chair. So, so in if that has uh, chair has arms in or on a chair armless chair etc so you can't say anything which indicates something which is not applicable to the present i have lived in that house for four years i have lived for that house for four years and still i am a tenant for that and will continue to reside there, to live there, etc. So, present perfect sense and form ke liye bhi aap istimal kar sakte hain. Ye nahi hai ki sense of form sirap aur sirap uh, is ke liye istimal hoti hain ki us mein been or uh, present perfect continuous ke liye sirap muhtas nahi hai. I have known him since years, since time, since years, for, for time immemorial, since long, since long. I have known him. No, not I have been knowing because no is not used with a with a uh, continuous tense. With a continuous tense, he is recognizing him. He is recognizing no. He has been recognizing him. Not at all. He has recognized his enemies. He has recognized his enemies. Is recognized. Is a mazi kalib bhi kehte hain. Ye mazi hai, lekin munsalik present ke saath hai. Munsalik 
प्रेजेंट के साथ है और टाइम फैक्टर जिसमें चीज में मौजूद हो आई वेंट टू कराची लास्ट ईयर आई वेंट टू कराची फिफ्टीन ईयर्स अगर सो पास इंडिपेंडेंट आई डेड इट या स्टडी एक्सेट्रा I have done it this morning. I have done it this morning. I broke my leg long, long ago in an accident. I had an accident on the road and I got my leg broken. Yeah, my leg broke in the accident. Yes, sir. So I have. That was a story of the past. Maza ma maza in Arabic. Maza ma maza. Jo guzra. सो गुजरा लेट बाई गांस भी बाई गांस वो पास्ट की स्टोरी है और पास्ट से वो रिलेटेड है प्रेजेंट को अप्लाई नहीं है ही हैज ब्रोकन इज लेक स्टिल ही इज कंफाइंड टू बेट हीज बेट बाउंड कंफाइंड टू बेट ही कांट मूव ही कांट मूव रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू बेट बेट बाउंड एटसेट्रा ही इज नाउ बिकॉज ही हैज ब्रोकन इज लेक इन द टाइम इज एप्लीकेबल टू द प्रेजेंट और ही ब्रोक इज लेक इन एन एक्सीडेंट लॉन्ग लॉन्ग गो नाउ ही इज ओके and up and doing up and doing he has uh, fully recovered from his past injury damage a fracture fridge fridge furuj etc is cheez ke liye jo shaga a jata hai jis cheez mein cleft a jata hai to yahi fragile or fragility wala lafz yahi hai is pe mera ek aur lecture hoga jo 5 minutes ya 6 ya 10 me 5 to 10 minutes hoga uska naam hoga walk walk और वही लफ्स जिसका ताल्लुक अरेबिक या और लैंग्वेज से है और इंग्लिश दी इंग्लिश दीज पीपल हैव एट्रीब्यूटेड यानी सीडो सीडो रॉन्ग सीडो इटिमोलॉजी सीडो इटिमोलॉजी एस जिस तरह के सीडो आकाइक थिंग्स होते हैं प्रेशस या कीमती बनाने के लिए कि वो अप्रिशिएट हो जाए वैल्यूएबल मोर वैल्यूएबल हो जाए मार्केट में उसको वो दफना देते हैं गाड़ देते हैं जमीन में और वहां दुए की सिचुएशन उसको प्रोवाइड करते हैं कि बाद में ये यानी हिस्टोरिसिटी उसकी क्वेश्चनेबल ना हो और ये बहुत ज्यादा कीमत यानी एंशनेस की वजह से कदामत की वजह से रेरिटी की वजह से कि ये बहुत रेयर थिंग है और ये अभी नहीं मिलती या मिल नहीं पाती अवेलेबल नहीं है अंडर मार्केट एंड इट बिलोंग्स टू द पास टू द रिमोट पास टू द इमेमोरेबल पास एक्सेट्रा दिस थिंग so remember that it is applicable and in urdu we can say mazi qareeb aap khud soche ki present perfect tense hai lekin naam uska kya hai pehle hal pehle hal sorry pehle mazi qareeb alam ki present hum hal ko kehte hain mazi qareeb isliye ke do you want to take tea no i'm not okay I've already taken three cups of tea. Three cups of tea. मैंने पहले तीन में पी चुका हूँ. तीन को सर्व किया गया है. Three cups and no more. Do you want to eat cake with tea or with the tea? Tea के साथ खाओगे? No, no, I'm full. I've already, I've already eaten, enjoyed, or demolished, or utilized the chicken. Ah, chicken, full chicken. I'm full. I am satiate. I need no more, etc. So it is also applicable to the present. So the sense of perfection you must remember in your mind that it has third form of the verb, perfect tense because of being perfect, and past, present, and future. All these uh, uh, tenses, these are moods. They have third form of the verb. And today, uh, today uh, in this session. We are restricted only to the present perfect. इसका माना है पहले हाल मुकम्मल भी इसे लोग कहते हैं और पहले माजी करीब भी बाज लोग इसे कहते हैं क्योंकि यह माजी का वाक्य होता है लेकिन एप्लीकेबल टू द वेरी प्रेजेंट हैव यू रेड शेक्सपेयर नावल आई रेड मेनी नावल्स बट द नॉलेज इफ द नॉलेज इज एप्लीकेबल एंड यू हैव सम कमांड ओवर दीज थिंग्स टू यू कैन से that i have read shakespeare's hamlet as you like it and king lear etc or uh, these dramas or these plays i have read i have read 
So uh, that is the work which is also present, uh, applicable to the present and the work has come to a perfection. A perfection. Just like the Quran ki jo akhiri ayat hai, wo bhi kaun si ayat hai? Al yomu, jo din ki takmeel ki taraf ishara hai. This day I perfected your religion for you and chose it as the best religion. So uh, perfected, there is no need. There is no defect. There is no imperfection. There is no deficiency. And it has come to perfection. I have completed your religion for you, etc. Perfect means mukammal. Tam. Itmam jise kehte hain. Jis tarah ki kitab ke aakhar mein. Tammat bil khair. Came to an end with a good grace. Came to? Came to the end. Not to the end that, that was finished. To the completion. In the sense of completion. Itmam. Jis tarah ki itmam mein hujjat kaha jata hai. Kisi ke saath argument karke. जिस लॉजिक का सहारा लेके जिस तरह के हैवान नातिक है इंसान हैवान नातिक है तो अपना नातिक नुतक मंतक ये लॉजिकल प्रेजेंटेशन अपनी बातों का कर रहा कर, कर, करता रहेगा जिस तरह की ये है कि वाल लमहुल बयान बयान आर्टिकुलेशन या फुल एक्सप्रेशन या मीनिंगफुल एक्सप्रेशन जिसमें आप किसी मुदा को किसी मकसद को किसी मतलब को आप हा? बयान कर सकते हो कम्युनिकेशन का एक कंपोनेंट हो तो इसी को हम बयान कहते हैं जिस तरह के मुबीन मुबैन तबैन जिस तरह के हक बातिल से क्या हो गया सेपरेट हो गया सिवर हो गया अलग सेट अपार्ट हो गया तो इसके लिए तबैन का लफ्ज इस्तेमाल होता है ये बयान स्टेटमेंट या फुल एनाउंसिएशन मीनिंगफुल एनाउंसिएशन कॉम्प्रहेंसिबल एनाउंसिएशन एनाउंसिएशन ई के साथ सिंगुलर इन एनाउंसिएशन इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ प्रोनाउंसिएशन Enunciation means, articulation means tajweed, juda juda, alag alag, har ek value ke saath articulate, articulation jodon ko bhi kehte hai, jod jod ke padna, jod jod ke padna, to isi tarah completion ka sense ismi maujud hai, ye yaad rakhe, aur ye bhi yaad rakhe, ke aav, agar ek contraction aap ne yaha bana liya, to I have not, I have not done my work, I will space, I haven't done my work. I haven't done my work and there are no three word contractions there are no three word contraction three words may not be said that there is a hyphen 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 is also a very beautiful history when uh, the Americans were somewhere so the president was addressing these people just for canvassing uh, votes or for delivering a message or conveying a message to these people because they were very proud of writing hyphen with their name, giving preference to their country of origin. Franco-American, Anglo-American, Sino-American, uh, country of their origin, a country of their birth from where they migrated there and settled there. So they used to write these words as a pretext. In America, remember, in America, you are only Americans. There is no place for hyphenated, hyphenated Americans. Hyphenated Americans, it means that you give, give preference to the country of your origin. You have been naturalized here. Natural rights have been provided to you here, have been accorded to you and you have been accepted here as equal citizens of this country so why do you prefer to writing these prefixes to your name to your name remember that america is only for americans and you know under this territory you are not hyphenated american you are only and only americans so therefore i write three word contraction there is no three word तीन अल्फाज पर मुश्तमिल कंट्रैक्शन नहीं होता कि आप आई आई वंट आई वंट यानी हेवन को भी आयो के साथ तब्दील करके आई के साथ उसको कोवलीस करके उसको कंबाइन करके तीनों को आप जमा नहीं कर सकते इकट्ठे नहीं कर सकते तो आउ नॉट डन माय वर्क आई हैवन डन माय वर्क ही इज नॉट डन ही इज नॉट डन हिज वर्क ही हैजन डन हिज वर्क हैज ही डन हिज वर्क Has he done his work? 
have I done my work? Have they done their work? Etc. They haven't done their work. They have not done their work. They have not done their work. We have not done our work. Our work, etc. We haven't done our work, etc. So it's enough, I think, and tomorrow uh, I shall continue it uh, with further extension for another mood. Present perfect, but perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. And I once also explained that why perfect is called, continuous is called imperfect, and it has the word perfect and also the word continuous. When continuous is imperfect, so why present perfect continuous? So that sense, uh, I will explain to you in my tomorrow's video. Thanks up to that time. May God bless all of you. May all of you be successful, be stunning, be astonishing on your career because you have a long life ahead of you. And I am, uh, I often refer to that thing. Just like love hota hai na, the dawn of marriage hota hai. The dawn of marriage hota hai, love. But marriage is the sunset of love. Marriage is the sunset of love. Progeny hote hai, crying children hote hai, unki mukhtalif worries hote hai, ye sari cheeze. Iske baare mein insaan ki no man is happy until he is dead. Hurried and worried until we are buried. Until we are buried. There is no curtain call. Ye drama, ye play, khatam hone wala nahi hai. Hurried, worried. Yani in doni cheez mein hai. Baas garam masalon ka lafz bhi is mein add karte hai. Ki teen cheezon se bache. Hurries, worries, curries. Hurried, worried until we are buried. Until the snow. Curtain call. Life is a very funny proposition. After all, ये अजीब सा मामला है उन लोगों के लिए जिसको ये लफ्स यानी जिंदगी के आर्ज़ वायत हमारा मकसद आने का के वजूद किया है मज़रातुल आखिरा है ये हमारा कुछ मकसद है तखलीक का यहाँ पर आने का और यहाँ से कोच करने का ये सारी चीजें मज़बूत तौर पर हमें डिकोड हो चुके हैं और शायद कि हम इसमें मज़ीद भी डिकोड करने की उसको अंडरस्टैंड करने की समझ बूझ हम पैदा करें खुदा हम सब पर अपना फजल करम रैन करे नचावर करे हमें अल्लाह पाक जिस तरह के कोई इंसान घर के आब होता है इसी तरह गरीब कलब से हम सब को अल्लाह गरीब के रहमत बना दे थैंक्स